Let's look at some shortcuts to jump around the screen. In Space Max, these are bound to Space, J for jump, and you can see a whole bunch of them. But we're only going to look at the most useful ones, or those I use the most at least. You can do Space J, J to jump anywhere around the screen. And you type the letters where you want to jump. Imagine that I want to jump onto the enum property down there, right? So I'm going to place my cursor somewhere else. Space JJ, capital A and U, and voila, I'm going to jump instantly to it. You can use that with any characters, it's going to work. And if you just type one or two letters, say I type C, you can see that then you get this set of letters that you can type to jump to the corresponding occurrence. So it's most interesting to type a few letters. For example, I want to go to the context uh, variable, but often in Blender Python code, you're going to have that context quite a bit. So then I can type the letter I want to jump to. So I want to go up there to the execute function definition. I'll type H and get there. Now, before I move on to the other jump options. Note that for most of them, you can use them in combination with commands. For example, I will type D to delete and say I want to delete down to the sequence here. So I want to delete a few lines. I could do space JJ and I type sequence F and I'm going to delete down to that letter included. Now you can jump to a given word. In this case, you type space J and W for word. Then you want to type the first letter of the word. If I type C, it will only outline all the words that start with C. So the word can, context, what do we have, create, those kinds of things. Note as well that if you have multiple windows and several files open, this is going to work for all the files. So I do space AJ, I type get, uh, it's going to give me only on the left window here. What do I have on both sides? I might have BPY. Okay, space JJ, BPY. And you can see that it outlines the words even on the second window on the right. So I, print, I can press F to jump to the other buffer. With the word one, you can use that. It's quite convenient. So I want to delete up to the action here. I will press D. I will space J W to jump to the word, A for action, and L G to jump to that occurrence of the word. When you use a command in that case, it's not going to delete the first letter, uh, unlike the space J J, the most generic jump. So you can combine that, that jump to word with any action. For example, I want to uh, copy this line up to the, I don't know, in. I want to copy if self the type. I will do Y for yank, space JW, I for the letter I and J. And now I've copied if self the type, like so. Uh, so it works for entire blocks of code, right? It's from where your cursor is to where you are jumping. Say if I want to, I don't know, there are cases where it's really useful. You'll see when you are practicing. Uh, I've bound the command myself to Alt-W, so I press Alt-W and type the letter uh, and I can jump in my file. For that, you have to change your configuration, space F-E-D. Uh, it's going to open that and let's look for, it's called AVI jump, A-V-Y, sorry. And the command is A-V-Y, A-V, go to word one, a few variations of that command. When you are wondering what the commands or functions do, press the capital K letter to open the documentation in Emacs. Uh, and then it will tell you some information about how it works, uh, which key it was bound to, those kinds of things. So inside of your user config function, you want to add, I've added it to the evil normal state map. So I can only use that in normal mode for now and the um, key binding is Alt-W. 
I don't know why it, I have it twice. Okay, let's remove it. Oh, it's the evil normal and evil motion state maps. Yeah, I have it in two specific key maps. All right, the next one is really nice. It's It works in lots of document types. It allows you to pick a function in most programming languages or a title in Markdown. So you do space JY, uh, space JI, sorry, and you can find then the classes, the functions in the current file. So space J I say I want to go to the one of the fade functions and let's go to oh it finds variables as well with the uh, language server. So I could do uh, calculate fades for example like so and you can really jump around your code really quickly. So this works on the current file. Now I want to show you on Markdown as well. Let's go to the GQuest website and try to open a recent post. What do we have here? Content about. There you go. If I do space JI here, it does find the titles, the headings in the document. So it's really generic. It's very convenient for that. Next up, you can jump to a line, space JL, and you will see you have the letters again that you can type to jump to lines. There again, it should work on several windows as long as I have different documents open. So space JL, and this is the main difference between you know, using that function, which allows you to jump to a given line on any buffer that's open on your screen. You don't see it, but I have my notes on the other screen here. And if you look, you do get these letters as well. You can use that or otherwise, when you are working with a single file open, a single window, I'm using relative lines on the left, as you can see. So you get the, uh, lane counts to, to quickly jump down a number of lines relative to where you are. Say that I want to go down to this line with the fades here. Uh, I can do, you have 10 written on the left, so I can do 10 J to go down with VI key bindings. And there you go, I'm on the line already. There is one that I maybe don't use as often, but that is useful from time to time. It's space J Q. It's going to uh, give you a quick look at the lines where you find the variable, whatever you are looking for. So in this case, it's giving me a list of, of lines, a quick peek at different lines where that variable may be defined for the first time or modified in that case. So you have it a, a few times in the file, but it's not very, very small. It just gives you a list. You can't do much with that. You're not going to jump to the variable, at least as it works now, but you can get a peek, uh, take a, a quick look at the definition. Uh, if I try with self the type space, I'm going to center it, space JQ. And yeah, the thing is, it seems to be looking beyond the current file. So that's a little tricky. Yeah, in a small project, it works pretty well when you work on a plugin or something. Although otherwise you can use tags. So for self type, I could go comma gg to go to where the type variable was defined. And the last few I want to talk about are the basics. You can do space J capital D to open a did the or ranger, the file browser in Emacs in a new window. Well, if you just press the dash key, it's going to open it in the current window. So instead of doing control W V to split the window and dash to open did in a new window, you can do space J capital D, or you can also use a space J lowercase D to open did in the current buffer in the current window. And the last two are really basics, control O and control I to jump in and out of your jump history. So say I'm going to do a few jumps down the file and back up. When I do control O, I'm going to jump back to the places where I last made changes most of the time. And with control I, I can jump into that 
history, if you want. So a number of commands are going to register changes in that history. And then you can press Control O, Control I to jump around. Uh, it also works between buffers and files, right? It keeps track of where you've been. So this is quite convenient. One thing in Space Max is that the Control I, by default, it might not work. It might work like pressing the Tab key might do auto completion or something like that. To change that, you have to change a variable in the configuration. So space FED to open your dot file. Then what we're looking for is in the init dot space max slash init function. I'm going to expand it with ZO. And we're looking for, I don't remember the name. I think it's something with tab. There we go. Dot space max distinguish GUI tab. So it's in this GUI version of Emacs. Uh, by default, it treats tab and control I as the same thing. And this value by default will be nil. You want to change it to T for true. Then you want to sync your settings, your changes. So space F S to save space F E capital R to reload the settings. And from there, you can press that control O to go back, control I to go in to move forward in your changes history. That is it for the jumps in uh, Space Max. If there are other functions that you find useful in that, please tell me there are some to go down the line and indent or do things like these. I almost never use these. Instead, I use the auto formatters and those kinds of things. So uh, comma equal most of the time and formatting the buffer or a region, those kinds of things. I use alternatives, but if you have tips to share with everyone, please do so in the comments below. But that said, I want to thank you kindly for watching. Be creative, have fun, and let's see one another in the next one. Bye-bye.